When you think about the area of Bali, you probably have these things in mind. Beautiful beaches, blue lagoons, nice views, and incredible landscapes. But what if I tell you, it looks like this. The islands are drowning in plastic. Everybody drops their trash in their backyard or the nearest river. The animals mistake the plastic for food or toys. Piles of trash like these are no rare sight on the islands. Seeing all of this was really shocking to me. Everywhere you go you see plastic trash laying around. One day I was scrolling through Instagram to look up spots to go to and I found this Instagram page Lombok Plastic Free. I immediately texted them and we met the same day. I had an interview with Doja and Anton, the two heads of the movement. Can you sum up what your movement is doing? We are trying to raise awareness about the plastic issue in Lombok, especially get media attention so the government also knows what we are doing. Mm -hmm. We just uh, had a fundraiser where we raised uh, 25 million rupiah. With that money, we are going to make fishing nets for the river so the plastic doesn't go to the ocean in rainy season. Mm -hmm. We are sponsoring local wavos. We are giving them bamboo straws, gallon water dispenser, bags, so they don't use plastic bags when they go shopping. They don't use plastic straws, they don't use plastic bottles. But they have to sign a contract where they say that they will not use those things anymore, the single-use plastic. We are doing beach cleanups. We want to pass like long-term goals, ban single plastic use, especially for the retails in this island. So that's how we can uh, reduce the consumption of single plastic use. In your point of view, what is the main problem causing the plastic pollution in here? It's the industry itself, uh, the system of the industries. We keep producing it. Actually, we don't need it. So you already said what your goals are. The name of your movement, Lombok Plastic Free, sounds like a firm plan. How are you guys working to fulfill the plan? We have a, a foundation from Batu Bambu Kids Foundations. They giving education for kids and stuff like that. So they're willing to join the movements as the name of the foundations as well and speak up about the plastic waste issues, they have uh, programs with the kids' schools and stuff like that. So we synchronize like a uh, few aspects of you know, different fields of foundation and communities that are willing to join with us. Yeah. When you talk about education, you also need to address the government. Do you already have a connection to the government? Somehow, some way, yes, we do also connections with the governments. But we need it to be more effective. That's what we are. We need to build a bigger bargain positions. Mm -hmm. So that's how uh, it's kind of like we can push uh, the, all the stakeholders in the government and also the parliament's houses. So they can set up the draft of, you know, this kind of regulations. Okay. To sum all this up, how could people help your organization or your movement? Firstly, first, spread the words, make it viral, and then... Sign our petition. Sign our petitions, and also, somehow, by any chance, you are in number, we, uh, we're going to do a lot of uh, activities like fish cleanup, 
making a lot of creative programs and stuff like that come to us and then we can do it together and yeah that's that's how movement is i think also it's good for everyone to think about the plastic they use because sometimes you don't even realize it like even your wax comb is from plastic mm-hmm. um when you go here to the laundry or they pack all your clothes in plastic but you can tell them don't put it in plastic just if everyone would think about it more and like no one can do it perfectly of course we we both still use plastic sometimes but we try to not use it as much as before and actually we try to go completely without plastic which is a long journey but I feel like if everyone does a little bit, it already helps a lot. Yeah, we have to start it and it's now. So you think the first step is that everybody is aware of his own consumption and then the government needs to act too? Yes, Okay. precisely. So if you want, you can tell the people how they can find you on your social media. We have Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's called Lombok Plastic Free. Okay. And the petition is in the in the link in the bio. Okay. Did I say that right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have Facebook, which uh, our page is also called Lombard Plastic Free. The link is also there. Okay. And we are still working on a website, but it's still in progress. Mm-hmm. So thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate what you're doing. All the best. Good luck. Thank Thank you you very much. And keep going. So to sum all of this up, here are some tips how you can contribute to solving the problem. If you travel around the area of Bali and you visit a restaurant, try to refuse plastic straws in your drinks. The most effective way would be if you add please no straw to your order. When you go shopping in a local supermarket, make sure to bring your own shopping bag or backpack to avoid taking a plastic bag home with you. Considering food shopping, you can also try to avoid buying things wrapped in plastic. If you are planning your trip, put soap and shampoo bars on your shopping list instead of using plastic shampoo or soap bottles. If you are asking yourself, I never want to travel to Bali, what can I do? Try to reduce your plastic consumption at home too. Because the companies ship most of the trash to countries like Indonesia and China to get rid of it. So the less trash they can ship around, the better. As Dorja stated, we don't need everybody to do zero waste perfectly, we need to try together. That would be a huge change.